In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a star field and a planet from scratch within Photoshop. To do this, first go to File, New, and create a new file and name it Your Name. stars.psd and you don't need to put that in, it'll put it for you and we're going to create this at um, 1024 by 768 pixels it's a preset, you can pop that down from the presets or you can type it in, doesn't matter resolution 72 pixels per inch, so this would be for the web RGB colors, 8-bit background, we're going to change that well, we'll just leave it to white, we'll change it later, and say OK. So here you have your blank file. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to fill the background with black. So make sure that black is your foreground color, and then do Control Backspace, sorry, Alt Backspace, to fill the background with black. Now create a copy of that layer, and that is Control J. And we are going to then go up to Filter, Render. I'm so sorry, I lied already. Filter, Noise, Add Noise. That's what we're going to do. Filter, Noise, Add Noise. I got a little ahead of myself there. Then we're going to put in a 12% Gaussian monochromatic noise and say OK. Now you should see a very faint peppered background, what white specks on the background. Now go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and once your histogram appears, what you're going to do is you're going to slide your white slider over so that you start getting a lot of white dots then you're going to st move your black slider over so that you get a lot of black areas and then you'll move your intermediate slider your gamma slider over so that you get some nice areas and you can move the white point out if you need to it's however many stars you want in your universe the more that you move your gamma slider toward the black the more middle points you're going to have so once again, like I said, it's up to you. So just get something that you think looks like a good star field. And that looks okay to me. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new... Well, actually, why don't we just take the background layer and we're going to create um, convert the background layer actually into an editable layer and to do that hold down the alt key and double click on the background layer that will switch it to layer 0 now we are going to take that layer and drag it above the other layer and notice how it covers up everything well we're going to change our layer blending mode to make that not be so and we've done this in class, but if you weren't there, this will be new to you. Um, to change your layer blending mode, come to where it says Normal, pop that open, and we're going to change it to Screen. So what Screen does is it makes all of the black in a layer actually go away. In the next tutorial step, I'm going to show you why we just did that.